Hello, YouTube watchers. I want to play a game. It's back day, and the machines and barbells are taken, and your gym doesn't have heavy enough dumbbells. What do you do? The choice is yours. Check it out. What's up, Nick Wright Bodybuilding? Subscribe if you're not subscribed because today we're breaking down a unique exercise that most people overlook and you don't need a whole lot of weight to do it. You use an incline bench and you need two dumbbells. So this is double armed dumbbell rows but on an incline bench. Now here's the trick. Use a light dumbbell. You've seen me rowing the 160 pound dumbbells in other videos and I'm only using 65 pounds right now to give you some sort of perspective on how light we're going. Rep range is about 10 to 12 reps or so. The key here is to dig the bottom of your chest into the very top of the bench. So your upper chest should be over the bench. You wanna keep your shoulder blades retracted back and you wanna row with your elbows driving backwards. Drive with the elbows. Don't try to curl the dumbbell up at all. Act like somebody's bear hugging your waist and you're trying to elbow their arms off of your waist. At the same time, you're gonna be bringing the dumbbells back towards your belt. You're not gonna be bringing them straight up to your chest. You wanna bring them back to your belt. This is gonna allow your elbows to stay tucked in nice and close to your sides and hit your back, not your rear delts. As you do this, you wanna make sure that your feet are planted firmly. You can jack your butt up in the air like you saw me do to get your back more parallel with the floor. Bobby preferred to rest his entire stomach on the bench, and that gives you more of a 45 degree angle. I think if your back's more parallel to the floor, you can get a better range of motion, better activation on your lats. And this is going to really kill your lats, uh, your traps. It's going to kill your upper back. It's going to hammer out your back all in all, basically, is the point here. It's even going to hit your rear delts a little bit in a good way, very indirectly, but help shape them. The key here is at the very top of the rep, you can actually supinate your hands meaning twist them, bring the pinkies inward. Some people do it all the way so the dumbbell is in a full reverse grip. As you see, I still keep the dumbbell neutral, but I do twist in just a little bit just to angle my elbows in, and that will really help target the lats all the way down to the very bottom of the muscle. Subscribe now, guys, and hit me up on Facebook and Twitter below. Subscribe to Bobby Arcand and link below as well. Later. Some baby weight curls for bodybuilders. I'm like Nick Wright. <laughs> Nick Wright. Are you marrying myself, Mustache? Wow. Psycho by Stivation, because it's insane. Big back, big trophies for the bodybuilding competition. Now, my back is one of my strengths, and the number one exercise I've used to build up my back, the one movement I credit my entire back development to is bent over barbell rows in the exact style that I do them, the Ronnie Coleman style. A regular overhand grip. Everyone loves the reverse grip because it's great, but I love the overhand grip. It's a little bit more old school, not as many people use it anymore. You'll see that I'm using a suicide grip or a false grip where I'm not wrapping my thumbs around the bar. This is going to take away activation of the forearm 